Hi there, my name is John Mapey and welcome to Hippo Shorts. In this segment, we're going to talk about nursemaid's elbow. So let's take a look at this first slide. So what is this condition? It is a subluxation of a non-ossified radial head, usually due to swinging or pulling on a toddler's arm. So that's when the parents or somebody yorks on the kid's arm, extends it, and they pronate it. And then, uh, so you're like yanking a child up, or sometimes the parents or caregivers will grab the kids by both arms and swing them around. That's how we get it. The typical age group is between the ages of one to four. The clinical picture though, is one of the child refusing to use the elbow. So they typically hold the arm close to the body like this because they're kind of, they're scared, right? So one of the problems is because of that fear, it may be difficult to get a good exam. But when we do take a look at the um, physical exam, we see that passive flexion extension of the elbow is usually normal, but any attempts at supination typically cause pain. On this next slide, we see that there might be some mild swelling or tenderness over that anterior lateral elbow. But the key thing to remember in this condition is that we don't see major deformity. We don't see bruising, significant swelling, or other focal band, uh, bony tenderness. So if we see those things, that usually suggests some other injury. So how do we make the diagnosis? Well, let's take a look at this final slide here. The diagnosis is usually made clinically. X-rays, in fact, are actually not recommended unless there's some compelling indication. What are some of those indications? Kids that are five years of age or older, if there's a concerning mechanism of injury, bruising, swelling, bony tenderness, unsuccessful reduction attempts, these are all indications to shoot an X-ray. How do we treat it? We do a close reduction, pretty straightforward. And in the acute circumstance, we usually do not apply any immobilization. So we don't have to put a cast on or anything like that. There's also no activity restrictions that need to be put in place. And usually follow-up is not needed unless there's some concerns on the parents or uh, part. Lastly, caregivers should be instructed on how to avoid pulling on the kid's arm. That's how they get this injury in the first place, and it's a common cause of recurrence of this condition. That wraps it up for this segment. For more information on this or other topics, come on down to hippoeducation.com, and we'll see you next time.